Here's Plum. Trying to find that seam. Plum looking for it and finding it. And Kelsey Plum, 14 points on the day. Yeah, this your boy Ace here, and welcome to Track and Ace. Man, this is an interesting topic, a uh, very, very interesting topic. Um, I just got to watching that insane Ace is in Sky Finish, man. That was insane, man. This, yo, I love this league so much right now, man. This, this, this has been an incredible first season of this new era of WNBA basketball, man. This is, that game was insane, bro. Kennedy Carter looked like she had won, uh, not won the game, but sent it to overtime with that big three. It was a big comeback by the sky towards the end of the game. And then a a Asia Wilson been, you know, people been down there like this is, since the second half started. You know, people been really coming after us. And Fisa Kali got MVP. I even said it on my videos. I think she might be close. Be getting it, man. But she she put this might be her signature moment of the season where she's just like, nah, this my MVP. This my MVP. The feast you could try to get it next year, but this my MVP this year. So really good finish, man. Very entertaining game, man. The WNBA these last two Sunday games, man. Indiana last week with the storm that was fun. Two national games back to back Sundays is good for the league, man. Um, cause this when most people watching is on like a Sunday, man. So you you really need to have those good games on those days, man. But let's talk about Kelsey Plum, bro. Uh, I'm not trying to make these videos too long. I might do an extensive video at some point, cause I'm gonna be doing a lot of videos like this, like a lot of little scenarios of what Indiana can do this off season to enhance. Cause look, last night showed that this is nowhere near a championship team. They're a good team, but they're not a they're not a great team yet, and this team, they need some better role players, and they need to get, they need to build around CeCe, uh, Caitlin, um, AB, Aaliyah Boston, and uh, Le Sexy Lexi Hall, man. They got to build around these three, um, but one of the pieces, and this is an older piece, so I've been kind of speaking against Kelsey Mitchell in some of my videos this past week, and I, you know, been trying to, you know, just show y'all Kelsey Mitchell fans where I'm coming from now I'm not saying Indiana should go do this because I think actually Kelsey Plum is a better fit with the sky because they need a point guard veteran point guard to feed Reese and uh, Cardozo but Kelsey will be uh, it'd be an interesting piece next to Caitlin Clark though uh, I think she'd be an interesting piece but the problem that I got is when you got like two point guards like that who you know does Caitlin regulate more to being a shooter is my problem with this scenario but it is why when i did the video last week i think I, I did a video last week going over the whole free agent class for 2025 and 2026 and i and i went past kelsey Plum's name and i was like i don't know about that one because she's 30 wrong this is, this is officially on that wrong side of 30 so shout out to kelsey Plum though happy birthday to her man sweet video that the team did with her yesterday man um giving her the cake on the bus the team bus yesterday um, and, and Kelsey Plum balled out today, man. Kelsey Plum still got a lot to take too. You know, Kelsey Plum hasn't had a lot of injuries in her pro career, so she's she's definitely someone that could probably still play for another four or five years at least. Um, I think if she came to Indiana, it'd be because she has a championship pedigree, that veteran experience to kind of help them get over the hump and win. Because at some point, she probably is going to turn into a player that comes off the bench as she gets older. So maybe she becomes the backup point to Caitlin at some point, 
But I don't know, man. She's still got too much left in the tank to be anybody's backup. So I just don't know how it'll work, you know, with them two in the backcourt. But I think it can work, though. Uh, Caitlin has been playing shooting guard, like, early in the season. Um, when Erica Wheeler was really the one that was kind of in control of the office at one point. But I think that if you can make it work, because, cause, you know, even though Kelsey Plum went one for seven a day from three, she still ended up getting 18 points. We've seen a lot of games over her career where she's dynamite from three. I think you have to figure that out. But I do think you can make better rules. I'll still stand by the fact that I think CC needs, like, a younger two guard next to her. Um, I think a younger two guard will be a little bit better. Uh, for Kayla Clark going forward. This is why I don't really want her with Kelsey Mitchell either. I think just Kelsey Mitchell is a little too old. She's too bomb, ball dominant. And I was trying to explain to somebody who was saying, oh man, Lucy Olsen is ball dominant too. Nigga, the, the difference between Lucy Olsen and Kelsey Mitchell is that um, CeCe came into a situation where Kelsey Mitchell was already here. So... In a way, I, I will say this. Why should Kelsey Mitchell regulate to Caitlin Clark outside of winning? We know we know for the purposes, it's, it's the purpose of winning. But if Kelsey Mitchell really didn't want to, she she didn't have to, you know, obey that. If, she, if she's leaving anyway, she really could have just kept playing her game. You know what I mean? But I guess she kind of woke up a little bit lately and, and, and was like, look, if you can still make a lot of money regardless and go elsewhere and still be able to be, you know, if you play the team game. Because you're still going to get yours. If you play, see, this is the thing I love about Caitlin Clark. If you play with Caitlin Clark, you're still going to get your numbers because Caitlin looks to pass. So, I don't think anybody should be looking at this situation like, oh, if I don't do this, I don't do that, you know. But, you know, I, I can't make it. So, I, I definitely think you can get yours when you play with Caitlin. And, and the thing about Lucy, she's coming to the team. You know, so Lucy's coming in. She's got to she's got to fit into the system in the team, man. She's not just going to be coming in thinking she's going to ball hog and all this other stuff. And it don't seem like she that type of player anyways. I've seen her. She can't relegate. She she plays the point. I think she knows what her role is going to be playing next to CC if she comes here. Um, I don't think she's going to. It's a difference. You got a you got a veteran and a, a veteran who's six years older than you. You know what I'm saying? She don't have to play down to your just because she's playing with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a whole different situation. Lucy's going to come in looking to fit in. And it don't matter anyways because Lucy's going to get her shots because, like I said before, Caitlyn will pass her the damn ball, bro. You like, some of y'all be missing that point, bro. Like, Caitlyn's going to give Lucy plenty of scoring opportunities throughout the game. Why you think I even suggested her coming here in the first place? Like, if I really thought, um, Lucy was some sort of ball hogger like Kelsey Mitchell is, then I wouldn't even suggest this move because I would have been like, it's not going to work for the team. You know, you begin the same thing. You begin a younger player, but you begin the same thing, which wouldn't make any sense at all. That's where I would want them to just go with Sophia Central, which is someone that I still want them to draft, by the way, even if they get Lucy Olsen. I would definitely like Sophia Central because she's played with uh, Caitlin Clark on the junior team before, I believe. And, um,. You know, she she definitely has a she she can definitely play. I, she's gonna be very interesting. I'm gonna cover Sophia Centron on this channel uh, during the college season, by the way. So definitely keep it locked in here because we're definitely gonna be talking about her. But last little thoughts on Plum, so I can wrap this video up. I think it could work. I'd be interested in it, but I think there's just too much. That, I think Plum at 30, she's this you know she's still in her prime. I think she could still help out another team. I think she's actually going to stay with the Aces, to be honest with y'all. But if she does go anywhere else, I think she can help out another team. I think Chicago, like I said. Um, is Sophie Cunningham afraid of this year or the year after? Because Phoenix may may want to use it. They still got the Valkyrie situation. They're going to need a point guard. There's still a lot of teams that need a, a, a point guard, man. I, I think the Connecticut Sun should make a play for it, too. Because um, they're losing some players after this season. So... They could make a play. They could make a play for her too. I think she'll fit pretty good under Stephanie White. So we'll see what they do overall, man. We'll see what Kelsey does. I think Kelsey's gonna stay though, ultimately. But it will be interesting to put Kelsey Plum with uh, K 
king of card. But I got a couple of more moves that y'all might like even better because y'all more familiar with these two players that I'm about to talk about. And that's uh, Megan Gustafson and uh, Kate Barton. So we're going to talk about that in the next video. But before y'all leave here, man, I just put on my Lexi Hall video how much of an impact she made in Saturday's game against the Leafs. Make sure y'all check that video out. Um, also, let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section below. Cash app, if y'all want to donate, um, donate uh, money uh, to the cash app is dollar sign sack exchange. Big shout out to L Pro, uh, Professor who sent ten dollars earlier this week. Really appreciate it, fam. If you want to donate to Bitcoin, scan the QR code on the screen right now. You can send any Bitcoin that way. You also you got Google as an option. You got any other payment platforms? You got let me know in the conversation for those. And I thank anybody who donates, even if it's one or two dollars. And I understand if you cannot donate at this period of time but you can't do something for free hit that like button share subscribe y'all thank y'all for watching track and ace